Hello, and welcome back to Bubsy 3D, the much-awaited finale, because I can finally put this game down. I'm really nervous for this level. I'm not even going to pretend that um, I didn't look it up, because there's a very sadistic uh, rocket puzzle for this one, and I looked up a playthrough. Um, his name is Dingo Crash, D-I-N-G-O-C-R-A-S-H. I wanted to thank him so much for his playthrough because uh, without him, I don't think I'd be able to find the rocket on my own. Uh, these turrets are indestructible. Okay. I hate this level because of these mystery switches. Yeah, chugging. I think it's because there are too many enemies on the screen. That's fine, we're gonna lose quite a few lives in this turret section, but it's okay. Because what matters is getting the necessary information. Aha, there's something over here. So this is sadistic, only one atom. Okay, and there's a rocket in the cube over there. This is what I was talking about, I had to look it up because, um, okay, green, blue, red, yellow. We can die there, but we're gonna see if we can get to the other section of the level before we do. That's wonderful. He just got locked in the direction that he was going. I don't accept that death as fair. Because um, for some reason, Bubsy was not turning when I was trying to turn him. Okay, so we're gonna have to backtrack to that rocket later on, but first we're going to fight a thing. This is very complicated to keep up. It's a little boss here. Now, that's fine. We're still up here, which means we can still bash him. Okay, cool. Timon's kind of wonky on that, but as long as like you're not on the platforms while he does his second hop, you should be safe. Cool. And I think this should kill him. I've already forgotten the order of the towers. I don't think we should get that checkpoint just yet. First, we're going to look for... There's a switch around here somewhere. We just have to find it. Don't remember. It could be in the middle, actually, now that I think of it. Nope. Just death everywhere. And life, which is fortunate, because we need as many of those as we can get. You know what? We're just going to do it. Switch? Switch? What's this? Okay. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that we just got a checkpoint. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back to, to inspect that statue, but that's fine, because uh, the rocket's that way, too. Okay. Is it possible that uh, the switch is just not in this section? Oh, never mind. Okay. That should unlock the rocket, which means we can go that way again. Uh, I don't remember exactly where the rocket was, but that's fine because we're probably immediately going to die anyway. I'm just glad that I unlocked that section. Oh, Bubsy. Why do you have a death wish? Bubsy just stopped in the middle of the section. I think it's here. Is it here? Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not funny. Oh, okay, no, it's not here. For a second, I thought I was trapped. I am so close to death, it's not even funny. Okay, cool. Here's that switch from earlier, which means... Okay, right here. No. 
Oh! I don't actually know where I am. Just show me the rocket! Okay, I think this is it. No! I just went in a giant circle. Dang it! Okay. Clearly there was a direction that I missed. I can't believe I survived all of that. That was crazy. Let's go this way instead. This maze of turrets! Okay. Green, blue, red, yellow. Green, blue, red, yellow. We have to remember that. Aha! We found our way. Green, blue, red, yellow. Okay. We've gotten a lot of practice from those turrets before because we've done this level so many times it's not even funny. When I was a kid, I could never, ever, ever finish the level. Because, like, y'all are seeing what I'm doing. Like, this is not a joke. Okay, I think the order was green, blue, red, yellow. We're gonna find out. If it's not that, then we're gonna have to painstakingly make our way back. And you'll see why it's pain, because, like, there is a little section with these mini woolies. Let's just say this planet has some pest control issues. That's fine. We still have plenty of hits to tank. We just have to see which direction. I don't care. Blue. Red. Okay. We can tank the hit if we need to. We just need to- oh god. Oh god, this is not good. Beeline! Yes! Okay, sweet. Just need to get to that checkpoint before we get wrecked by these little thingies. We're immediately gonna die, I know that much, but that's fine. Because at least we made it here. I cannot believe that worked. Okay, come on. This is very treacherous. Oh god. I thought I died there. We can't hold on to these forever. Shit. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to curse there. I just... Sometimes you just let it out without meaning to. Aw, yeah. That's one boss out of the way. I'll be very impressed if I can manage to do this without uh, dying, but impressed and glad because, like, Aw, oh, dang it. Can't believe she evaded that. Oh god. Way too close. Stranger danger. Personal space. thought that we died there. Dang it. Oh god. Where'd she go? Ah, oh, dang it. That would have been so clean if we had managed, but uh, we died uh, because her fire hit us while we were preparing. But that's fine. Uh, we did a really good job that time, so like, I'm sure that this time it's gonna run smoothly. The problem is when both of them are on this screen, because there's a lot of fire coming from a bunch of different directions. Okay. 
Oh, that was awful. Oh wait, I don't think that the other one respawned. If that's the case, that's very merciful of the game, all things considered. Now, that's fine. We needed to reorient ourselves anyway. Okay. I'm gonna keep smacking you until I get through this, dang it. That's not what I meant to do. That's fine, there's another one over here somewhere. Yes! Okay, one more hit should take care of her. Yes! Oh, I can't believe we did it. Again, thank you to uh, Dingo Crash for that playthrough because uh, for one, that first rocket is sadistic. There's no way somebody would uh, know to do that. And there's only one atom, so it's so easy to miss. And second, the second rocket being tied to the boss, you wouldn't know that. So you would just be running around like a headless chicken. We've completed the rocket and the game. Now we sit back and watch Bobsy get wrecked anyway, because this game is sadistic. Yay! Hooray for stencils! No more primary puzzle puzzle colors ever! I hope that that other word that I accidentally said is not some kind of like obscure slur or something. Heavy casualties, but Bobsy has left the planet. Thank you. Thank you At approximately 4,500 hours, our majestic queen just defeated the furry villain and placed it into custody. Gotta love the powers of propaganda. No one bothered to take the stolen rockets from the culprit. Within seconds, it had constructed a working model of the X1 rocket that brought it to our planet. Here to explain what happened next is Bayon's most renowned Poor scientist. Poor Bubsy's just trying to leave the planet that he accidentally landed on. I think he accidentally landed on it. You think that stored out of capacity he'd build up in his fur? <laughs> <laughs> now pay attention! This is important information! Please, Professor, continue. Thank you, General. As I was saying, using that stored atom capacity he built up in his fur. Oh, okay. I thought they were laughing at the scientists. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now then. He just turns into a lizard. Atom capacity he built up in his fur. Which, I'd like to add, was stolen at the expense of the Woody Water and Power Company. You'll find this reflected so, in next month's electricity bill. Extra taxes! Really? If I could be allowed to continue... Bubsy is everyone's is enemy. It's almost like Animal Farm, except Bubsy is snow, Snowball. Or Snowflake. I don't remember the name of it. The prisoner was able to make an escape. However, this cloud does have a wool lining. In addition to procuring 32 rockets, the specimen took far more atoms than the rocket's engines can handle. I predict this will cause an inversion loop overload of the x ones primary core cluster, resulting in a hyperbolic nuclear reaction that will tear huh. the very fabric of the space-time wool continuum. The Bobcat Esculinus will find itself hurtling through time to an earlier period in its planet's history. Our cinematic space lost out of the rocket somewhere around the Dark Ages. He actually Thank explodes you, and Professor. causes the Big now, Bang. I'd like to grandstand a bit, if you don't mind. By all means, General. Now, no one can stop our invasion plans. Earth and all its wool will be ours. <laughs> oh, I see. They're looking for wool. That's why they're called woolies. Strangely enough, I'm pretty sure the collectible in, in the first games are yarn. Ha. Huh. Wah, wah. So yeah, Bubsy loses. The end. I am glad that you all joined me for this. This was pain, this was agony, but I still had a lot of fun going through it. There's so much nostalgia attached to this game. It's still very challenging, sometimes not for the right reasons, but I'd recommend giving it a try before knocking it. So I'll see you guys on the next game.